try to justify it. It's a, it's a war on yeah. fucking Twitter and social media between the either white woman and a black woman or whether Tupac co-signed <laughs> abortion. Oh, he has no <laughs> ride when and where to create one. Yeah, that line. Yeah, yeah. That was a straight up wicked, that was a queen of heaven Stupid. anthem. Yeah. yeah. That, song, uh, that nigga, they, that nigga was pandering hard on, on that song, man. Yeah. You know, you gonna let you gonna let the words of that nigga right. <laughs> get you all in the lake of fire, man. Where, where did his wisdom wisdom let him? Yeah, right. Hey. You know? well, how come the Holy Father didn't defend him <laughs> if he was so righteous? Led him so, to an early grave, man. Black culture. Black culture, right. man. That's all he did. But you got the nigga woman. Culture. They 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 puffed up with pride because. No, he was representing the sisters when he when he wrote that song. Yeah, he did. He was. And which he was. Yeah. The, the album was called what? Strictly for my niggas. So it was yeah. really yeah. geared yeah. towards yeah. towards them. Yeah. But you got the white woman quoting it as if yeah, yeah we interpreted it as you know this is all of our struggle. We all are dealing with this. <laughs> and, and, as, and as if as if it's gospel. Yeah. yeah. You know, like it's credible that all he stepped it. That's what it is. Yeah. It's co-signed by God Himself. Right. And you see, you know? Didn't you see the the cross tattoo on his back? <laughs> you know, Only like God splash, can judge me. All of that shit. All that nigga talking shit. talking about God's lyrics. That's because the man, look, if these pastors are actually reading from the Bible, and they ain't going to make it. If there's actual Israelites out there that's teaching that about Israel, and they're not going to make it because of other uh, wicked deeds, how this nigga supposed to make it? Sharon smoking, Newport puffing ass nigga. Adultery committing ass nigga, whatever. Right? So the source that you get the information from does mean something. Not to say that we're we're so great a member. We're trying though. Alright? That's the difference you gotta have. Yeah, I won't be surprised if that song and re-enter back in the uh into the, the billboard rotation? Yeah. into the billboard charts and shit. Wasn't, wasn't Brenda got a baby uh kind of like the opposite almost? No, in the first one. First, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, two yeah. The same shit. He had at least one on every album. Yeah. At least one. Yeah. That shows you how under ghost darkness these people really are, man. They've been dead 25 years, whatever it is now. Gotta they pull him out the grave. Pull that lyric. his words quote something. Oh, it's good to test the time. Like, <laughs> this nigga's a, a, a yeah. profound prophet and shit. <laughs> this is uh, back in uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14. And uh, 23, I'll read it again. It says, for while they slew their children and sacrifices, or used secret ceremonies, or made reveling of strange uh, rites, rituals, yep. mm -hmm. they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Yep. This is all the works of the ungodly. Yep. Adultery. This is what they were doing. It says, or grieved them by adultery. Oh, yeah. 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 And that's big in, in, uh, in, in uh, black culture. It's big yeah. in, in the West. Yeah. 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 You know? It's big here, man. Right. And, that, and that law that you were speaking of, that helps that law. Mm -hmm. It helps uh, promotes uh, it. Huh? Promotes. Yeah, it promotes that uh, that adulterous actions. Which one? Uh, uh, the fact that they're uh, getting the uh, roadway. Yeah, the, yeah. Basically, the road the roadway being intact uh, uh, allows people to to, to uh, it promotes adultery. So, because basically, no women because women can pretty much. When you when you're being told that nobody uh, have the right to tell you when and where to create a child, yeah. that's basically saying your body, your choice. Like so, basically yeah. that that the lyrics does support that that left hand shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now it's putting the pride on the woman because this dude has been venerated as some you know figure. Bro, as soon as he, if they, they turn the nigga basically into a, a, a idol. So now his words reign supreme. Bro, next so, week he'll be canceled again, bro. For allegedly, you know what I'm saying, the things that I mean, he went to jail for. Yeah, yeah but, yeah. but going you know. back to your initial point though, yeah. it is promoting that because women, if, if, if they can just do what the hell they please with their body because it's their choice, mm -hmm. then yeah, they could they could feel free to sleep around yeah. and not have to deal with their consequences. That and they got to deal with the with the uh, responsibility. Yeah, they care. They ain't got to be. Uh, they ain't got to deal with, with uh, raising a child that they don't want. They could just basically sacrifice the child right. and then live freely on. Right? Yeah. So that's just straight up uh, wickedness, man. Yep. Uh, Genesis 1 and 27. Yep. So, so the Alahayim, the powers, the angels, created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he them. He him, male and female, 
created he them. And the powers blessed them, and the power said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have, and have dominion over the fish. So this whole road, so like this whole road we waiting the anti life uh, 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 agenda, part of the anti life agenda. That's all it is, and it, it was always meant to, to, to control the number of you jakes out there. Right? Because they knew, like we, we've been into this before, in, uh, in ancient Egypt, the more struggle we had, the more we, we multiplied. You know? When all we had to do, and when we get in the righteous state, what you think we really gonna be doing? Exponentially uh, multiplying. Y'all got it. I'm gonna read verse 28 again. And the powers blessed them, and, and the God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Alright? So that was, that was, that was a natural law given from the most high to the angel, to, uh, to man, to uh, 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 basically. Uh, be fruitful and multiply, I have sex. You know, bear children. You know, but he saw, he saw him come and say, no, nah, that's wrong. You know, it's a, it's a population control. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, that's part of this new world, new world order agenda, man. You know, sure. to depopulate the planet Earth. They just blew up the gun. You know, the guy's stone. What did one of them pillars that had it? That had it? I don't know which one. I think they all had it in a different language. Different language? Yeah. 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 Uh, the population down to 500 million. Yep. You know that's what they want to get it down to. Yep. They, they, they at least you know they orchestrating. You know try orchestrating this war, but ultimately it's the most high. You know they at least know. This, uh, they at least know that the whole world's gonna go into uh, a thermal nuclear holocaust. Man. They know that. Man. You know? Is uh, Leviticus 18? <clears throat> Let me start here at uh, 20. Night. Yeah, 20, 20. That is Leviticus 18 and 20. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. Which you just read in, uh, what was it, was it Psalm? Yeah. Yep. And this is 21. It says, And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power. Well, there's Molech, Dagon, Jesus, Bacchus. Fucking Bacchus. You know, whether you know what these deities are called or not, the energy that is pushing, you can't get your, 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 your children over to those things. Huh? A lot of people think that these ancient gods, they're they're from the past. That was back in back in those times. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're li we're living in a whole new time now. That's that's not real. That doesn't exist. They don't know that these, these demons and these idols, they trans, people re, uh, you know, they're recycled, they, they're given a new image, you know, they're refreshed, with the same. And, and repackaged. Yeah, with the same spirit. You know, but there's nothing new under the sun. They've been doing this for thousands of years, you know? We got the spirit of uh, Asherah amongst uh, the war culture. Right, when our people was worshiping Asherah, which is basically like mm -hmm. a, um, you look, when you look it up, it was like a, uh, she was made out of a, a tree, like a pole, and she was like real narrow and long. That's from Babylon? Uh, that's where you right? get, ba Babylon? No, it was, uh, it was, um, I believe it was a, uh, Canaan, it was like a Sumerian or a mm -hmm. Canaanite deity. Okay. But it was basically another goddess of uh, worship. Yep. She represented, the, you know, the, promiscuity and sexuality mm. and all. You see our women are totally involved in that spirit. Yeah. It's the party bees, all of the, 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 the imagery that our women are, are portraying is to basically promote sex, uh, uh, sexual promiscuity amongst our women, or them. Don't look at me as a sex object. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a control deal. And that's, yeah. why, I, that's, why, that's yeah. why I brought the whole Tupac thing up. Because yeah. they're going to use whatever angle that promotes what they want. Yeah. And, that, and that's all that is. You want to be a whore, but then you want to control your whore. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They don't want to play by the natural course of, of actions, of rules, that make you rule over you. Yeah. Yeah. 
that, that like that, that whole uh, stripper stripper culture, or, you know, dip, dancing, pole dancing, dancing yeah. on the pole. Oh, twerk, that, twerk, twerk, twerk that, culture, that goes, yeah. That, that goes back to uh, Asherah, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Those those stripper poles, that's that's supposed to be the Asherah pole. Yeah. And you can actually look it up, like in certain translations when it speaks of uh, Asherah, it, it talks about uh, uh, Baal and also uh, uh, Asherah. Somebody can somebody can look it up. But you can see how it all ties in today. There's yeah. nothing new under the sun. It's just repackaged, you know, under a different deity different uh, 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 ideology, but that same energy is, 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 is back. And, 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 the, and the connection to that pole, to you men, because you think about your pole, like, that fallacy worship, like, that, that's really, to watch a woman dance on a strip pole like that, it's really the, the uh, uh, penis worship. Yeah. Okay? That's, that's the end, don't act like that is the energy that everybody's thinking about. Swinging on it and flipping and whatever the hell else they, they do. Okay? All that energy goes to the same place. Now, if you do that in the, in the privacy of your own house with your woman, that's one thing. But that ain't how it's being pushed now. It's not even in the privacy of a strip club no more. This is actually in just culture now, like out outward culture. They're yeah. down there got they got twerking on cartoons and shit. Okay, this is this is ran rapid uh, throughout the earth now. You know? Yeah, brother, I, I got uh, something to grow. It's a demon uh, called uh, Kali. I believe uh, one of the elders, they get um, a video of the daughter, uh, like some, some very fat. Uh, this is via uh, worldhistory.org. It says Kali is the Hindu goddess of death, time, and doomsday. She is often associated with sexuality. And violence, but it's also considered a whoa, strong whoa, mother. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sexuality and violence, that sounds like rap music. That's that sounds like, that sound like the nigga woman. Right. Yeah. And the thing is, exactly. when you look at the pictures, you know, all these women on their social media accounts, they, they take pictures with their tongue out. That's the demon, that's what she does. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Video, Nicki Minaj is de directly with a Nicki Minaj. No, no, no Cardi, Cardi B. B. Cardi B. Yeah. Directly yeah. working with that demon. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Saweetie. They the old ones now. Yeah, they the old ones they got, now. They got new bitches out here. Yeah. Fucking, uh, uh, twice as worse as worse. Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, Kali embodies feminine energy, creativity, and fertility, and is an incarnation of uh, Parvati, wife of great Hindu god Shiva. Yeah. yeah, and fertility is one thing that, that turns men on. Like those natural pheromones. So when that energy, that's why you go to the club wherever you go and that energy's turned up, men lose their senses, so to speak, and that's your ability to control them. Going back to what she talked about with the serpent. Hey, but now, you know, that's, you got you got that on the, on the righteous side, and then you got it on the, the left-hand side. Right. And now, in today's society, this is mostly used on the left-hand side, man. Right. I seen the video, now these hoes, uh, they're taking like, um, it's something called babbing, man. <laughs> they're like, taking their, 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 and and putting it on, man. Uh, perfume? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Uh, it's about to be a bunch of... Badu. Yeah, she, got a, she got an instant. Yeah. yeah. It's about to be a bunch of stanky neck <laughs> holes out here, man. Hey. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's coffee, man. And I was thinking that, too. Yeah. No, but going, going back to the Asherah pole, yeah, yeah. just to show you the image, Im image of it, The image. Mm -hmm. She's dressed like a top. Yeah, the image of the pole. The image of the pole is like a top. And a lot of these stripper you know? poles yeah. have curves. Yeah, they, they make sure that like every woman is trying to attain that same uh, 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 figure. Yeah, yeah. Wide right. hips, and that's what skinny, that had, skinny right? waist, you know, perky breasts, thick thighs. Uh, every woman wants that particular look. That's where that comes from. You know, all that's where that spirit even, goes back to. Women aren't even built like that. Yeah. <laughs> I got to preach this. Yeah. Exodus 34 and 11. Observe that thou which I command thee this day. Behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite and the Canaanite. Which yep. is, this right. is where that comes from. Yep. This is why. So look, you are exactly right, bro. This is why he was trying to drive out those nations and that we would take another woman 